OK, uh, equipment that is required to set up an arterial line um, prior to um, <coughs> being inserted is 500 mils of heparin saline, 500 mils pressure bag, a transducer cable, um, a bioclusive dressing, stow strips, um, some tape, um, and um, whatever the patient requires. If they're going to have a central line and an art line, they're going to require a, a double transducer. If the patient's just having an arterial line, um, they're just going to need a single transducer. The only difference between um, the double and the single is that um, you have to um, put in the colour of what you're using it for. So you just get your, the red colour out and put it in to where the junction box is. So you can identify it as being an arterial transducer. The double transducer has already got um, venous and the arterial colours already in. Uh, for the purpose of uh, this film we're going to use a double transducer. Um, so we're going to um, set it up for an arterial line and we're going to turn off the the central line transducer trans part. And the whole point of doing this is just to make it a lot tidier and obviously it's lot less cables around the patient. You've also got an additional wire um, that comes with a set, this one here, um, just clamp that off. You have a normal given set, uh, turn it off, um, insert into your heparin saline. Bam, put it into your pressure bag. Fill the chamber um, of with, with heparin saline. Um, and obviously you can now hang that onto a drip stand uh, and just start pumping some pressure into the pressure bag. Want to uh, aim for about um, 150 millimeters of mercury. You can see on the the pressure bag. Um, you then now can open the given set. As you'll see, there are air in, air in there. And what you need to do is, at the junction box, you need to pull up and flush out the line, looking for any air bubbles. The line is now ready um, to go on to a transducer. The next thing is is the site selection of where they are going to insert the art line. This is a, a radial and this is a femoral line and as you can see there's quite a difference in size. For the purpose of this film we're going to use a radio art line. Open your dressing pack. You can use iodine or as an alternative you can use chlorhexidine, 2%. 
open your art line onto your dressing pack and that's now ready for the doctor to insert into the patient. Okay, we're now going to put the trunk juicer cable into the um, Daytax monitor. There are two invasive monitoring sites. P1 is for arterial, P2 is for central venous pressure. Plug your adapter into the P1 socket and the other part into your transducer adapter. If you have a look at the two lines, and if you turn them over, there's nothing. If you put them so they're identical into the circuit, as you do that, the monitor have now found that there is a transducer cable set for arterial line. Once the art line is in the patient, um, quickly secure it using the stow strips. You can use a silk suture, it, again, preference, but we do use um, stow strips quite a lot for securing arterial lines. Um, you primed your transducer, as soon as the line is in, it's quite important to quickly attach transducer and for extra security you have to secure that with a bioclusive dressing onto the patient Get your junction box and to cure it at heart level. Secure with tape right at the top. And one at the bottom. And we're now going to zero the art line and we're going to zero it from the main box that we've just placed onto the patient chest. If you turn it off to the patient and take the cap off and then go to the Daytex monitor press invasive pressures go down to the grey wheel is down to zero P1 art. Successful zero in, you will get a time that it's done it. If it's unsuccessful, it will come up fouled. Once you know it's successful, place the cap back on. and turn it back to the cap position. You will then get a, uh, a tracing of your arterial pressure.